Jackie's an addict, first and foremost. I think with most active addicts, that's really the first thing you can say about them because everything else pales in comparison and everything else is uh, not as important, uh, at least while they're in their addiction. Um, she's uh, very high functioning, very good at her job, smart, um, but uh, kind of panicked, it seems, about uh, how to keep feeding her various addictions and how to live when she's trying to stop. So not a, not a, not a calm person, not a particularly happy person, but in the throes of addiction pretty much the whole time we know her. She kind of seems to live by her own moral code. Right. Can you talk a little bit about her sense of right and wrong? Yeah, she, uh, she made a decision at some point or other throughout her life, life about what's right and what's wrong and um, not really open to hearing what other people may think about that and not really willing to follow rules so that other people's uh, uh, definitions will be adhered to. She did stuff the way she liked to do it. For the most part, overall, I feel like she really had the best interests of her patients in mind. But um, yeah, she was not a rule follower, for sure. I have a lot of good friends, family, etc., uh, who are addicts. So I certainly know the personality traits. And I myself have struggled, struggled with addiction. Still do. It's part of my personality. You learn to kind of harness it. but. Um, I don't think she ever had the opportunities I have to learn how to do that. Um, but no, I, she, you know, I guess wasn't, certainly parts of me are in there. Um, parts of other people that I'm not aware of, I'm sure.